this speaker loves a dog that I don't know if I can pronounce. A Waimara. A Thanks. Uh, and sushi, not made of dogs. Dislikes people cracking their knuckles. Wants to be a marine biologist. Great job. Um, Western Burt School, are you in? <laughs> I think they're in. Uh, okay. One last huge round of applause, then, please, for Arwen Borthwick Hunter. <laughs> you to raise your hand here if you have a garden. Now, keep your hand up if you have ant mounds in it. You may think that they're annoying, but actually something magical goes on inside of them. Unfortunately, this doesn't happen in England. No, for this we have to travel to Switzerland, to a super colony of wood ants. These ants live near spruce trees, where they take honeydew from aphids. This is the ants sort of sweet, and it's brilliant it keeps the ants, makes the ants' temperature rise way above normal and keeps the nest nice and warm. This helps the queens to keep laying and the eggs to keep growing. But with heat comes a problem. Diseases thrive. And the ants have an amazing solution for this. They take another substance from the tree. It's resin. Resin is a sort of gum that trees use to form over broken twigs, sort of like a scab. They take this, place it on top of the nest, and bring it into the nest with them. They combine it with formic acids from inside their bodies, which makes their own natural antibiotic. This is great, because one nest has been recorded to have over four kilograms inside of it. Nests with um, resin inside are less likely to contract diseases, such as fungi. But ants aren't the only animals that do this. Bears, deer, and elk have been known to consume medicinal plants when they've eaten something that's been moldy. <coughs> pregnant elephants in Kenya have been known to eat plants to help induce labor, and pregnant lemurs have been known to nibble on tamarind and fig leaves to help aid in milk production. But none of these animals win my award for best self-medicating animal. No, this goes to baboons in Ethiopia. They eat a plant that helps combat the schistosomiasis. Schistosomiasis is a disease that is caused by a parasite living in fresh water in subtropical and tropical climates. Now, they just don't win my award for eating a plant and go on with their day. They win it because they deal with it in a way that's more efficient than we deal with it. We eat a wonder drug called Praziquantel. Praziquantel costs over $385 just for six small tablets, which only has a 60% to 90% chance of working. So next time you're sat in the pharmacists and you're getting painkillers or headache tablets, think of all the animals out there who are getting it for a better price. Thank you for listening. Well done, Arwen. Lots of information there. You've obviously done a lot of research. Um, in all the research you did, what was maybe the one thing that really stood out for you? Um, probably the fact that Prasi Guanto costs so much and the baboons just get to go out and eat a plant and then they're perfectly fine for probably another couple of years or something. <coughs> well, I find that absolutely fascinating. Um, I, it was like, it's like a, uh, like watching um, Atom Battle and it's all about the world, does it? Sitting there and eating everything else. Um, so, like, what do you think from all the research that you did? And then um, from the, all the stuff that you've seen about Attenborough and the Empire of Ants and stuff like that, what's, what's the bit that you enjoyed most? I enjoyed um, most watching like David Attenborough's um, documentary on the ants and finding <coughs> out like how all these animals um, get medicine and like don't have to go to GPs and annoy pharmacists and wait in long queues and stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> one little extra one. Um, so these clever animals, uh, you know, eating the plants uh, to protect themselves from just from samias, I can't even say, sorry. Um, why do we take the medicine and not the plant? Is there anything we can learn um, from the We plant? can't really take plants, the animals, because their intestines are slightly different to ours and they can digest certain um, chemicals better than we can. So if we eat it, we have more chance of dying, basically, if we eat the same medicine as them. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Give it up for all of you.